Hello, my name's Mike, I'm from Access Irrigation Limited. Today we're looking at pumps and particularly uh, inlet and outlet fittings for pumps. I have here a submersible pump um, and quite straightforward, the inlet is at the bottom and the outlet is at the top. This particular Divatron uh, pump is a fully automatic one, um, so we treat it in a slightly different way. We don't need to fit um, check valves at the bottom because they've got them built in. The outlet fitting at the top is one inch BSP on this one, and we can simply fit a pipe compression fitting to that. So that, again, PTFE uh, all of these fittings and screw them in like that. Uh, and then you can just take your pipe straight out the top. You want to size the pipe 25 mil or 32 mil to give you the flow. The inlet fitting, you can treat uh, a couple of ways. If you're going just into a normal tank that's uh, been mains fill, uh, filled with, with just mains water, then a simple strainer is fine and that can screw on there uh, like so. It just protects the pump um, from any debris that might be in there. Uh, the alternative is if you're uh, going for an underground rainwater harvesting tank or, or from a pond or, or a lake, for example, then the floating inlet is what you need um, and that has a check valve and a strainer on it and you connect that by simply uh, screwing in a brass fitting like so and then connecting a flexible pipe uh, suction hose onto there don't forget a super clamp is uh, a must for these to make sure that uh, is, is really airtight and, and then that then goes on to the, the floating inlet. So very straightforward. Don't forget if you're using a submersible pump to suspend the pump uh, with a cord or a chain, do not suspend it from the electrical cable.